Hi friends, it's me, Miss Liz, and we're back again for some fun stories. So, before we get started, we have to practice our sign language. Are you guys ready? Let me see your hands if you're ready to practice your sign language. All right, friends, so let's get started. So, the sign language that we've been working on that we're gonna continue to work on is God help. Yeah? So let's review it together, ready? So you take one hand, okay? And you just go right down the middle, just like that. That's how we say God. So we go from the top, we go up and down. Again, up, down. Again, up, down. Keep going, and this is how you sign God. Good. God, one more time, and we go from the top, and we go God. Good job. Now, we're gonna take one hand, almost like you're asking for something. Put your hand out. And then you take your other hand, make it like a rock, and go boom, just like this, okay? So let's do it again. We have one hand, like this, okay? Other hand's like a rock, and we go boop. Now, I need to see your thumb. There you go. And all you're gonna do is go up. Good, again, up, again, up. One more time, up, and that means help. So the sign that we're doing is God help. Wow, so there's so many times, there's so many situations where maybe we're scared, maybe we're not sure, maybe we're confused, and we need to say God help. Okay friends, so now Jasmine is going to read our story but then we're gonna have Miss Yvette come back and she's gonna sing a special song that she made for us. Ready guys? Okay, so let's get started. Okay friends, so now we're gonna read our story. Jasmine, do you wanna tell them what story we're reading today? Yeah! The story of the prodigal son. This story is found in Luke 15. So friends, sometimes Parents save up money to leave behind for their children after they go home to be with the Lord. But in the story of the prodigal son, the younger son asks his father if he can go ahead and have his share of the money now, even though his father is still alive. Now this makes his dad very sad, but he gives the money to his younger son anyway. The son then moves far away and starts spending all of his father's money on things that he thinks are fun, but they're actually really bad for him. Because the son keeps making bad choices, eventually he runs out of money. He has nothing left and he has to get a job taking care of pigs. Well, friends, then the weather turns really bad and the farmers can't grow enough crops to feed everyone. So the son, he gets so hungry that he wishes he could eat the pig's food. Whoa, friends, would you want to eat pig's food? All of a sudden he remembers, wait a minute, my dad is rich. If I go home, maybe he'll give me a job. Then I'll have enough food to eat. Friends, he was scared. He ran out of money and he didn't even have enough for food. So what do we do in a situation like this when we're lost? We say, God help. Well friends, the son goes home and when he gets there, his father runs out to meet him. Even though the son is embarrassed that he behaves so badly, his father is just so happy that he came home. And he hugs him and he tells him that everything will be okay. And this makes the older brother angry. He thinks it's not fair that the younger brother wasted so much of their father's money. But the father tells him, why are you angry? I have always shared everything I have with you. Your brother was lost, but now he's found. Let's have a party. He's home safe and sound. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. 
So friends, whenever you're scared or you're confused, and when we have doubts or when we're scared, what do we say? God, help. That's right. We say, God, help. And he will always be there to help us. Wow. wow. Okay. So now that we're done our amazing story, do you want to tell our friends what we're going to do next? Yeah. What are we going to do next, Jasmine? We're going to sing a song with Miss Yvette. That's right. We're going to sing a song with Miss Yvette. So now I'm going to pass it off and Miss Yvette's going to join us. Hi, Jasmine. Thank you guys for joining me again for worship. Are you guys excited? So let's get to our worship song. God, please help me. God, please help me. I need you. I need you. Please hold my hand and tell me what to do. God, help me. I need you. God, please help me. God, please help me. I'm confused. I'm confused. Please hold my hand and tell me what to do. God, help me. I need you. God, please help me. God, please help me. I am scared. I am scared. Please hold my hand and walk with me. God, help me. I need you. God, please help me. God, please help me. I am weak. I am weak. Please hold my hand for you are my strength. God, help me. I need you. God has helped me. God has helped me. I may new. I may new. He held my hand and told me where to go. God helped me. Yes, he helped me. God has helped me. God has helped me. I understand. I understand. He told me where to go and he held my hand. God helped me. God helped me. God has helped me. God has helped me. I'm not scared anymore. He held my hand and told me what to do. God helped me, for he is my strength. God will help you. God will help you. Pray and trust. Pray and trust. Trust in God and God will help you. Trust God and he will help you trust in God and he will help you yay we did it friends thank you friends thank you Peppers. and thank you Jasmine for joining me for worship and I will see you guys next time bye wow wow wasn't that so much fun? I love when Miss Yvette sings a song for us. And that song is so important because we're saying, God, help when we need help, right? Yeah. And the story was really great. I hope you guys enjoyed story time and I hope that you enjoyed singing with Miss Yvette. All right, friends. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for singing with us. And thank you for tuning in and listening as we read a story. Okay, friends. Well, we'll see you next week as we continue to bring in new and more exciting stories from the Bible. All right, friends. See you later. Bye-bye.